I'm mm-hmm. Digi Key and Adafruit present. Hi, on NPR. All right, this week. ST Micro. Yeah. Which we, I got you a nice uh, vector logo. So this week's INPI is from an ST microcontroller. So uh, it is the, I love how they have this rendering with the number on it. It's the STM32 WLEX, but in this case, the X is going to be five. <laughs> I say X equals five in this one. Why? Because I'm talking specifically about, this is the STM32, you know, uh, wireless, I think it's WL, low energy. Uh, is probably what WLE stands for, and five means it's got LoRaWAN support. Okay, what what do you, what do I mean LoRaWAN? So we actually stock uh, LoRa radios and LoRaWAN radios in the store, um, and we have for a while. I really like them. What's a LoRaWAN? If you are not familiar, um, you probably know about Bluetooth, right? That's a, a low power wireless network that communicates between you know your phone and uh, a tablet and your computer, or like your watch and you know your GPS or your heart rate monitor. And um, there's also cellular, right? That's what your phone uses, but also there's embedded cellular that gets data, you know, to and from uh, machine to machine from, you know, like a a vending machine would send uh, data to a main uh, distribution network saying, hey, I'm out of Sprite, come over and and fill me up with Sprite so they know what to deliver. Um, There's also Wi-Fi, you're really familiar with that. Um, But all these have downsides. Um, So... Wi-Fi, you know, it, it's pretty good, but it's not super long range. There is a limitation. The same with Bluetooth. Um, and cellular has really long range because you can be, like, within miles of an um, uh, antenna. But the problem is you have to pay for it monthly. What's really nice about LoRa is that uh, it has mile range, but it's free. So we have, you know, we showed you the bonnet, and we, here is a feather with a um, RFM 9x it's a sx1276 based module and that's the thing on the right that silver thing and then we have a microcontroller in the center that controls it well i mean what if you didn't need two things right there's two things here microcontroller radio what if we squished them together okay well this is the radio that you would normally use the sx1276 and it's like you know five six bucks and and you actually kind of have to use this radio if you're using laura because it's under patent But what's cool about this chip is it has that radio like literally inside it. You don't need to wire it up. And you even get the Sigfox and LoRaWAN stack. Sigfox is a a paid network that's similar to LoRaWAN. I don't use it as much, so I don't speak to it. But um, if you're interested in in Sigfox, uh, they run the backbone network for you, so you don't have to have a gateway. And that's something you have to think about. With LoRaWAN, well, with cellular and Wi-Fi, right, there's an existing router, network, internet that you work with. But with LoRaWAN, you're going to have to set up your own gateway. Um, We recommend uh, getting involved with the Things Network because they set up citywide network gateways and they have gateways available and products available that you can purchase that work with LoRaWAN. So even though you have to maintain your own network, there's like a community there. There's people you can hang out. Um, I went to the Things Network and I like checked out the devices that work with it and they had like 300 plus gateways and devices that you could use with um, this chip to create your wireless like mesh or star-shaped network. This is an indoor uh, router that we stock. It's only 99 bucks and it gives you a uh, Wi-Fi to LoRa gateway. Um, We also have uh, one that's, you know, much more complicated. It's eight channel and it goes on a Raspberry Pi. Also, you know, it can give you cellular or Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, so this chip has a lot going on with it. Uh, what I really like is it has all the peripherals and timers you want. I think it's even got USB. The low power numbers are excellent. Uh, it's like one microamp. Um, it's got lots of GPIOs and PLLs. It's basically an STM32 F4, uh, Cortex M4. Um, I think running at like 64 megahertz. I can't quite see, maybe 48 megahertz with 64K of flash. And uh, it's, you know, you wouldn't necessarily run CircuitPython on it yet, maybe some of the bigger chips, but you can definitely run C code and they provide all the C code for you. There's also some security stuff in there uh, so you can encrypt your data. Um, But yeah, the specs on it for the low power are just like incredible. Um, So in in stop mode, but with the RTC, it's one microamp. If you're into shutdown mode, you're getting into the nano amp zone. Um, But otherwise what's really cool is just you have the radio built in. Uh, So this chip, 
the pricing is also really competitive. It's basically the same price as just the radio, but you get this free microcontroller with it. So you can pick it up. This yeah, is the part I recommend. And here's a short URL. Digikey.com plus short forward slash 4T300P. It's kind of a nice you short URL. just type in um, probably STM32. STM32. WL will get you there. WLE. But let's look at the overhead real fast because I want to show you the uh, Nucleo add-on. Um, so this is, it's kind of cool actually. This came with a little tin and I just removed the tin. It actually wasn't even soldered on. It's clipped on. Which is pretty sweet. Let me just uh, now zoom in into the into the analog section. Okay, so this is the analog section, and I just want you to see that you. Uh, this is the chip, and so the one I picked was a QFN, but they doesn't come in BGA if you want it really small. You will need to create your analog section, right? It, it, it has a radio, but you have to uh, handle all the the antenna interfacing, and then this is the antenna. Um, it runs, I think, you can do like 100 to about 1,000 gigahertz. It's sub gigahertz. Uh, you don't have to use LoRa. You can also use like FSK or, or you know, BFSK or whatever. You have all the other encodings, although I, I picked this because I really like LoRa, and I, I think that the idea of an all-in-one chip is great. Um, you'll have to tune this antenna section for the antenna frequency you want. So even though just so people ask me all the time, like, oh, I can tune this between 100 and 900. Well, that's assuming that your antenna is good between that range and that your your front end area is is tuned to that range. If not, you're just gonna have to pick, you know, a narrow band of about 100 megahertz and, and stick to that. So that's the um, STM32 WLE 5 series. One thing to watch out for, there's also four and other chips. The five is the one that has the LoRa WAN stack come with it. So that's what I recommend if you wanna do all in one LoRa microcontroller stuff. Okay, and we have a little bit of a short video from STM. I love this one. I'm excited when they make one with a little bit more RAM, I think this would be a great CircuitPython chip. Hi on MPI.